Good morning, grade one. Today, we're going to learn about another kind of animals, which is the amphibians. The lesson objective is to identify amphibians and describe their needs and features. How's it going, guys? Today we are going to talk about... Oh! I had a frog on my head and you didn't even tell me. That was scary. Well, today I have come to talk to you guys about another group of vertebrate animals. Amphibians! Amphibians are oviparous animals, which mean they are born from eggs. The babies are born in the water and breathe through their gills. When they grow up, they can live on land or in the water and breathe through their lungs and skin. Their skin is moist and they don't need hair. They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the air temperature. Did you know that amphibians are the only vertebrates that are born with a tail and live in the water? When they get bigger, they grow four legs and live on land. This change is known as metamorphosis. That's everything about amphibians, friends. I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to stay here with my new friend. See you later. Could you name five amphibians that we didn't see in the video? Write them in the comment section. Will you get it right? Oh, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the seal to stay up to date on new adventures. We all know that animals are living things and amphibians are one kind of animals. Amphibians are vertebrates. They have a backbone. Where do amphibians live? Amphibians live in water and on land. Amphibians usually live in water after hatching from eggs. But as adults, they can live on land. Amphibians lay lots of soft jelly eggs. These eggs hatch into babies. Most baby amphibians don't look like their parents. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. That means their body temperature will change with the surrounded environment. Amphibians need air. They have more than one way to breathe. Most start life in the water using the gills to breathe and most adults live on land and use the lungs to breathe. Amphibians can move. Some can swim, crawl, or hop. Amphibians have smooth, wet skin, which makes them look and feel slippery. Here are different examples of amphibians. We can see the Salamander, the frog, the newt, and the toad. Here we're going to choose one of the amphibians and we'll talk about its life. Now, this is the frog life cycle. This is how it's going to grow and live and produce a new animal. First, we're going to start with the egg. The life starts with an egg. A tiny tadpole 
will grow from this egg. It will breathe through gills and will have a small tail. After six to nine weeks, this tadpole will sprout legs and then arms, but still have a tail. It will begin to eat insects and grass. By 12 weeks, and in the froglet stage, it is almost a mature frog. It will breathe with lungs, but still have a small tail. And it will leave the water soon. The last stage now, and by 12 to 16 weeks, this frog now is a grown-up, or an adult frog. It will breathe with lungs and will have no tail. And of course, it will be ready to start this process again. So, let's recall the stages of the frog life cycle together. I will say each stage and you will repeat after me. The first stage is eggs, tadpole, froglet, adult frog. Very good grade ones. It's time now to draw and write about amphibians. Now this activity is optional grade ones. You can do it if you like. Here in the purple box, I want you to write one fact about amphibians. In the red circle, tell me where do they live. You remember, amphibians have two stages in their life. Then, in the, in the blue box, try to be creative and draw any kind of amphibians. You can draw a toad, a frog, a salamander, or a newt. Good luck, grade ones! And now we arrive to the success criteria. Hope you all are able now to identify amphibians and to describe their needs and their features. Thank you for hopping by. See you soon. Stay home and stay safe.